Your first forecast is brought, it, brought to you by Story at Home Rent to Own Portable Buildings. For today, it's been pretty cloudy out there and has kept things cool as we move into tomorrow. Drier air will start to move in, and so that will result in lots of sunshine. And temperatures will be back into the 70s, and we're going to see a nice warm up as we head toward the end of the week. However, we have another system that will come through, and so there is that possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms as we head into your Friday and Saturday. More details. Details on this on ABC 31 News. Welcome to ABC 31 News tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. The Rapids Parish Police Jury has voted unanimously to ask the U.S. Postal Service to delay for at least one year the closure of the historic downtown post office on Murray Street in the Federal Building. Jurors say this would give them time for community input. Currently, it's slated for closure by the end of next month. Area Congressman Ralph Abraham has been making inquiries into the decision and has received a notice that the post office is still looking for another suitable facility. A Grand Parish woman died over the weekend in a late night crash on Highway 8 near Fishville. Trippers say 37 year old Misty Clark of Trout lost control, hit a culvert, and overturned. She was partially thrown from the car during that crash. Pineville police need your help in finding a missing 16-year-old girl. Allison Tilly is about 5'4", weighs about 140 pounds, and was last seen on video surveillance leaving her home on Iberia Lane at 1.30 this morning. Please call police if you can help out. Rapids deputies say a suspect who led authorities on a high-speed chase Saturday was captured this morning in Evangeline Parish, where the incident first started. Rapids deputies assisted with the Saturday chase, and this morning, Spotted the suspect vehicle near Beauregard Road and Highway 1 South. Authorities say they chased the suspect to around Highway 106, where he was eventually taken into custody. He's been ID'd as Samuel Damien Lee. Grant deputies have arrested two people on drug charges. They are 38 year old Serena Wittstein of Colfax and 21 year old Coey Johnson of Dry Prong. Both are accused of possession of crystal meth and drug paraphernalia. Deputies say they were spotted in a parking lot smoking a glass pipe. Jury duty scammers are apparently at it again. They're making phone calls threatening citizens with arrest for failing to comply with jury service in either federal or state courts. Those callers attempt to obtain personal information to make you pay a fine. This is not legitimate. Please contact your local law enforcement agency if you are phoned, but they say do not give out any information. Just hang up. The Southern Forest Heritage Museum in Rapids Parish will dedicate the Hardener Building on its grounds in Longleaf. ABC 31's Shar Thomas caught up with historian Jim Barnett for a look back at this trailblazer's life. The evolution of forestry all started with this man right here, Henry Hartner. Hartner wore many hats from politics to lumber, but his love for reforestation set the tone for what forestry is today in the South. During his time as state senator, Hartner made it possible for lumbermen to avoid taxation that limited any prospects of reforestation. Uh, he was the first lumberman to really, really understand that you could grow another tree, another crop of trees. But he also was a, he was a very serious advocate. So he would go across the South, uh, you know, uh, telling, telling other lumbermen, hey, we, you know, we could, we could grow, we could grow another crop of trees. And, and then as a state senator, he, he helped pass legislation that that made it uh, economically feasible. See, one time after the trees were cut, the taxes were still the same. So, well, it was, and so lumberman just wanted to abandon the land. But but the combination of of uh, partners uh, uh, ability to convince people to grow more trees and then making it economically feasible by the legislation that favored that. He was a visionary who put his ideas into practice and others adopted his methods. With advancing technology, reforestation has grown immensely over the years, but Hartner's strategies are still the basics of where it all started. Harvested. And you know, that's where we get lumber for everything, all sorts of wood products. 
and and then the the, the big thing then is how how do we grow it? How do we get a note and another crop started? And so uh, there's and one of the things that was done uh, by these three guys was the nursery techniques were developed, grow little little seedlings in the nursery, and to grow them big enough so that you, they could be out planted. And so now in nurseries across the South, there's B, you know, over a billion seedlings grown a year for reforestation. So it, it, it's a big deal, but they, they were responsible for kind of creating the basic knowledge needed to do that. Hardner was ahead of his time, which is why he will forever be recognized as the father of forestry in the South. Char Thomas, ABC 31 News. And to learn more, you can visit the Southern Forest Heritage Museum. The annual Garden District yard sale was a go Saturday, despite the cold and drizzly weather. A lot of people came out to the historic heart of Alexandria, bordered by Bolton Avenue to Texas Avenue and Monroe Street to Lee Street and Masonic Avenue, seeking treasures. More than 20 houses were set up for people to come and shop. Rain or shine, locals always come out to Kent House for its Herb Day event, and this year was no exception. Many vendors were there with plenty of items to choose from and an estate sale also took place inside. Holy Savior Menard High School's theater department will be presenting a Disney classic on stage, Beauty and the Beast. It's a fully staged musical. It is elaborate. It is impressive. Beautiful sets, beautiful costumes. This show is such a fun show. You know, usually when you have to do a scene over and over again just to rehearse it, you're like, oh, okay, like one more time. But this one, we're like, oh, like we love it. Like, let's do it again because um, all the characters are just so fun and so enjoyable. And the show is just. It's good for little kids, it's good for adults, it's good for just families or friends. Like, it's just such a good show to be a part of. Beauty and the Beast opens April 11th and runs for the 15th at the Coughlin Saunders Performing Arts Center. Tickets can be purchased at TicketCentral.org. Good morning, Central Louisiana. Good morning, America. Look for your local weather updates during GMA. Brought to you by LSUA. Find your way to A. Welcome back, everyone. It's been a cloudy day. We started off with some fog and mist, and we uh, saw clouds just hanging tough throughout the day. By tomorrow, though, as drier air starts to move in, I'm expecting those clouds to decrease, and it's going to be a tad warmer tomorrow. And as we head into the rest of the week, lots of sunshine gradually warming up through your Thursday, but we have another system that will come through at the latter part of the week and into the weekend. That could bring some strong thunderstorms across our area. We'll take a look at that in just a little bit, but temperatures today were about 10 degrees, at least for the high, 10 degrees warmer than it was yesterday, where our high was 60, today it was 70 degrees. Right now, it's about 9 degrees warmer than it was this time yesterday. 9 degrees warmer in Leesville, 7 in Lake Charles, about 12 degrees warmer in Lafayette. High temperatures today, 70 in Alexandria, a little bit cooler in Leesville, around 69 degrees. So uh, we did see those temperatures warm up today behind a cold front that pushed in over the weekend. So Things are starting to warm up, and we are going to see that nice warm up throughout much of this week. Our dew points are in the 50s, very comfortable right at this point. It was a little bit drier this weekend. We're going to see south winds return by tomorrow, and so that's going to help to bring a little bit more moisture back into the air. But we are going to have high pressure build into the region. That's going to keep us in the 70s, at least in the low 70s uh, for tomorrow. But we are going to see lots of sunshine as high pressure starts to move to the east by Wednesday. We are going to see a little bit more uh, warm air return and with those south winds a little bit more moisture as well. But then by the end of the weekend into uh, the weekend we do have another cold front that will be moving through the middle part of the country and it's going to bring the possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms for your Friday. That will eventually move to the east by Saturday. So it's something that we'll be watching. It could bring a lot of rain and also very gusty winds and uh, severe uh, weather at that as well. So something that will 
keep our eyes on as we move through the week. Tonight, though, is going to be chilly. Temperatures dropping down to around 47 in Alexandria, bottoming out to at 47 as well in Otis. Boys around 47, 48 degrees in Glenmora. As we head into tomorrow, we're going to see a nice uh, change, just a little bit more sunshine and temperatures just a tad warmer with a high around 71 degrees in Alexandria, also in Otis and in Boys. A little bit cooler in Oak Grove at around 67 degrees. As we head toward the end of the week, we're going to see a big bump in our temperatures. 76, lots of sunshine for your Wednesday. We're going to stay with the dry air as we head into your Thursday. Temperatures around 82 degrees, so well above normal and then closer to normal as clouds increase on Friday with the high around 79 degrees. We do have the possibility of a few thunderstorms late in the afternoon and into the evening and more chances of rain as we head into the early part of your Saturday. After that, temperatures will start to cool down. So our high on Saturday, only around 71 degrees. Lots of sunshine returning by the end of the weekend. Our high only around 63. And then as we head into early next week, we start to warm up again with the high around 72 degrees. Only one doctor brings health right to your home. Every day is a new chance for change and everyone can start right now. Make an appointment with Dr. Oz. Check in for your daily checkup. Good evening and welcome back to KLAX ABC 31 Sports. I'm Zach Siminar. The Northwestern State baseball team ran the gamut of emotions on Sunday after pounding out 16 runs on 14 hits in a game one win of a doubleheader against Stephen F. Austin. The bats were dampened in a game two loss that was a marathon of a contest. The Demons exploded for a 10 run sixth inning in their eventual 16 to 2 win in that game one. Quan Adkins, three for four, and Tyler Smith drove in a team high five runs, including a three run home run. That started the 10 run sixth. Despite the offensive explosion, the talk of the series was how the day ended a 15 inning 6 5 loss to the Jacks. Demons will have to sway their attention to Lamar, who the Demons will now face in less than 48 hours after the marathon of a day on Sunday. We talk about what toughness is. Is, is regardless of the circumstance, can we make the decision to go out and play like we've worked on playing, like we've practiced, uh, with that energy, with that enthusiasm? Or do we let the outside circumstances of playing two games for a long period of time um, with a fairly quick turnaround? It can work it can work for you or against you, and the tough teams are the ones that go out and and and, and play well regardless. Thanks for watching ABC thirty one news. Have a great night. Participate in a day of fun and festivities at St. Mary's Superhero Challenge 5K. Join us as we celebrate local heroes who impact our community every day. It's April 14th in downtown Alexandria. Register your team for the Fishing for a Cause Bass Tournament at the San Miguel Park in Toledo Bend. All proceeds of the tournament benefit the Children's Miracle Network. The Hope House of Central Louisiana is hosting their first golf tournament at Oak Wing Golf Course Saturday, April 21st. Show your support, register today, and tee off for Hope. April 13th is the Repeats Cancer Center's third Colors of Courage 5K and Color Run. Meet us downtown at 6 to benefit the American Cancer Society. For more community events, visit us on Facebook or at KLAXTV.com.